Hello again, everyone. This is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com, and I'm back today with another video for you, 12 features and tips for Apple Music, specifically within iOS 10. The For You tab and picking favorites is my first tip, actually taking the time to go through and choose which genres and artists you actually enjoy listening to will in fact yield pretty great results on the For You page within Apple Music. Going through and choosing the bubbles you enjoy, those you don't enjoy, and those you really like will give you a pretty good selection of curated albums and playlists for things that you might enjoy as a music fan. Another great feature is saving files for offline listening. The advantage of doing this is you don't have to use any sort of a data connection to play these songs if you've previously downloaded them. So if you're on a Wi-Fi connection and heading on a trip, go ahead and download what you need in advance. Another great feature is waking up to music. If you're the kind of person who likes to wake up every morning to a favorite song and get yourself in a good mood for the day, you can use the iOS alarm clock and then use a song within your Apple Music library to wake up when the alarm is time to ring. This is sometimes a better way for people to wake up instead of having some of the iOS ringtones, which sometimes can be jarring upon wake up. This is a great way to ensure that when you start your day, you're starting it in a mood that you've chosen because of a song you have in Apple Music. Another feature that I really enjoy is using Siri to identify and even play songs. Siri and Shazam work together even if you don't have Shazam installed. So asking Siri at any given time to listen to the song that you're listening to will allow you to look it up in Apple Music and therefore save it for later. Another great feature is seeing the song order in history. You're able to go through and use the up next feature to check out what's coming up on any given album. You can also change the song order from this view by clicking the sliders on the right hand side and shuffling the songs around in any order you want. This is perfect if you have the songs on shuffle and you want to make sure the song you like is up next. Another great feature is custom playlist photos. If you're the type of person that likes to make a playlist for any given occasion, Apple Music now supports the ability to import from your camera roll. So now you can add a family photo or a vacation picture, or if you're a designer, even something you've made yourself. Apple Music within apps is a great feature that I discovered while using iOS 10. If someone in your conversations mentions an album or a band, you can usually click the underlined link that it creates for you to use the search feature and then quickly jump to Apple Music. Speaking of jumping, you can also jump to artist page quickly from the now playing window by clicking the slider with the artist name and the arrow pointing to the right. This will lead you to their full artist page and their full catalog. Using cellular data to stream or download your music is a feature that's available within your music settings. However, be careful because higher quality streams will definitely eat up more of your data plan. Another great feature to be mindful of is adding songs to your iCloud music library. This is basically an iTunes library that exists in your iCloud account and adding songs to the library will essentially be the same as importing them from a CD making them easily available for you to find later on any device. Showing only offline music is another advantage of being on the go and can be accessed by editing the main page in the library. Showing only downloaded music again only shows locally stored files that have been physically saved on your iPhone. That way you know what's all been saved. On the whole, Apple Music's updates within iOS 10 have been very positive and hopefully will help you find a couple new ways to enjoy your music while you're out and about on the go. I hope you learned something new. We'll talk to you soon.